Maximus uh, dot cash is is the URL for the Maximus DAO, and uh, the Maximus DAO is basically a super stake, right? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I think I heard you guys touch on it a little bit from the stream yesterday, but um, you know, I don't really know what else to add. It's legit. We, you know, we know the founders; they've been around for a while. You know, I know uh, Tanto Nomini is his uh, screen name. I know his real name too, but you know, we won't dox him or whatever. But um, I met him in real life. Cool dude, developer, nice guy because he did all this work for you guys for free. And so I guess I, I have heard the occasional complaint about Maximus of, oh, it's just a gimmick for the founders to get rich. And I couldn't be more wrong. So anybody claiming that needs to shut the fuck up and actually check the code out <laughs> and actually look at what it does. Nobody in Maximus can get any more or less rich than anybody else. Okay. Like, the founders can choose to put their hex into the common pool just like anybody else can. Just like anybody else. It's been audited twice, maybe debatably three times. It's been code reviewed like five times. It's been tested on the test net. I see people making all these, uh, I don't see a lot of it, but I see people making these weird claims about how Maximus is somehow a get rich quick for the founders. It's like, it's a common pool. If the founders wanted to, they'd they didn't even have to put any of their own hex into the pool, but I, I'm sure they did because I'm sure they believe in their own project, but it's, it's your money that you're putting into the big stake. There's no fee, no tax. There's no gimmick that where something gets routed back to the founders or something like that. But it's just a way to maximize the bigger pays better bonus, the longer pays better bonus, it's instant liquidity, it has gas savings utility, and it has general market utility when compared to hex. It's holding its peg. It seems to be holding its peg at about 0.997 of a hex right now. So a very, very minor discount. And we could expect that to probably go up over time, you know, as, as the hex starts to accrue more yield and as the hedron bonus starts to add up, it's not going to get interesting for probably two to three more years at least, right? We're not going to see much crazy premiums or discounts in, in Maximus. For example, one good strategy you could do is if you wanted to scale into Maximus, well, while it's at a minor discount, that might not be such a bad strategy if you really are a long-term thinker. And hey, the best part about all of it is that if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. You know, just don't touch it. If you don't want to stake your hacks for 5,555 days, don't do it. But if you do, consider this because not only are you, are you basically maximizing your bonuses by pooling together trustlessly with everyone else, but you're getting an immediate token, which is basically a, an escape plan for if you decide to bail. You can, go, you can go sell it later on and maybe recoup some of your losses if you decide that your uh, diamond hands weren't as diamond as you thought later on. I really like the fact that uh, they're not a lot of people that wanted to make money off this would probably set it up so that they were collecting the airdrops like the Hedron coins or they were uh, picking up the airdropped copies. There's so much to be harvested in 15 years from now. It's all redeemable with the Maximus token. That kind of shows you they're not really in it for themselves. They just saw a lot of yeah. small guys getting killed by fees. That seems like it was one of the first you know motivations for these guys. They're like, the little guy can't afford it thousand dollar fee in the future if their stakes yeah. only worth a few hundred mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean or whatever it is yeah. so I, I really like that uh, solution to the fee problem right off the bat well the fee problem too is not only that fees are unaffordable right now but just imagine how unaffordable they're going to be in the future i mean yes hex will hopefully be able to outpace the inflation of the gas fees because hex will hopefully, hopefully be worth you know at least ten thousand x more in 15 years right that should be Enough, 15, 15 years should be enough time to do another 10,000 X in my humble opinion. Okay. I know it sounds crazy, but it's, it's worth it. We're talking more time than cryptos ever existed from now, <laughs> you know, we, we can't even imagine, but also with that insane, you know, price appreciation of hacks, I'm, you know, we're assuming some price appreciation of Ethereum as well. And I don't see gas fees getting any better uh, unless something drastic happens. So yeah, it is interesting. And I didn't expect that at first, but what part of the primary purpose of um, Maximus DAO was gas fee savings, not only instantaneously right now, but in the future as well, when, when that has to be unstaked. And like, it, might, it might cost a million dollars to unstake that stake, <laughs> but maybe, but the stake might itself might be worth 500 million. I don't know. Just pull numbers out of my butt here. But It's so hard to imagine <laughs> 15 years in the future in crypto.